In our video titled, Why Are Private Equity Firms Making Strategic Acquisitions? We talked about how private equity firms are buying each other to gain additional asset classes, access to capital, and conduct geographic expansion. Well, in our September 2023 video newsletter called Mink Sites, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the Angelo Gordon deal, where TPG acquired Angelo Gordon, the well-known private credit and real estate firm, to give TPG an expansion into credit investing, as well as offer complementary real estate capabilities. We are happy to share more details with you here, so stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Mink Sites, we will walk you through the Angelo Gordon deal, a recent deal where TPG is acquiring Angelo Gordon. We'll walk you through the history of Angelo Gordon, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Angelo Gordon. Back in 1988, the alternative investment firm Angelo Gordon was founded by John Angelo and Michael Gordon with the firm's three initial strategies of distressed debt, convertible arbitrage, and merger arbitrage. Three strategies that the team worked on prior to the founding of the firm. In 1993, the firm started to launch new strategies, including its opportunistic real estate strategy. Over the years, Angelo Gordon continued to launch new strategies and open new offices around the world. In 2009, after the financial crisis, Angelo Gordon, in partnership with General Electric Capital Corporation, participated in the public-private investment program that was led by the U.S. Treasury that raised capital to help create activity in the credit markets in the U.S., in 2011, Angelo Gordon formed a pure play residential mortgage REIT called AG Mortgage Investment Trust, Inc. It was trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol MITT. After that, Angelo Gordon continued to launch new strategies and open even more offices around the world. And in 2023, at the time of the deal that we are talking about in this video, Angelo Gordon was managing approximately $73 billion and had over 650 employees across 12 offices in North America, Europe, and Asia. So let's move on to the details of the deal. TPG acquired Angelo Gordon in a deal for approximately $2.7 billion. That includes cash, stock, as well as an earnout that is based on Angelo Gordon's future financial performance. So let's analyze the deal. TPG has completed some interesting moves over the past couple of years. In 2020, TPG split with Sixth Street, its old credit investing platform. In 2022, TPG went public, which many thought would help give TPG currency for acquisitions. And now in 2023, TPG is not only re-entering the credit market in a big way through this deal with Angelo Gordon, but also further expands its real estate offerings and creates a combined globally diversified platform that will have AUM of over $200 billion. There are three main reasons for this acquisition. Number one, Increased in product offering. TPG will now have more products, the additional credit and real estate strategies to offer its current clients. Number two, increase in customer base. TPG will now inherit Angelo Gordon's long-term clients, which may want to invest outside of credit and real estate through some of TPG's other investment strategies, such as private equity. And number three, unlock additional opportunities. With this combined platform, TPG can not only offer these strategies to existing limited partners, 
but also to new limited partners as well as other investors through new distribution channels. Investors, if you are investing in direct private equity, one strategy you might want to look at is a buy and build strategy where you can buy a platform company in a specific industry and then buy other smaller companies in the industry and then roll them in to the platform company. In a buy and build strategy, there are many synergistic benefits to combining firms in the same industry, similar to TPG's acquisition of Angelo Gordon, where value can be added through increase in product offering, an increase in customer base, and it will allow you to unlock additional opportunities in the future, such as creating additional distribution channels.